कि टाटा पावर इज़ द लार्जेस्ट इंटीग्रेटेड कंपनी इन इन इंडिया वी आर इन दिस बिजनेस फ्रॉम लास्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन ईयर्स एंड वी हैव अवर ओन सेल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग मॉड्यूल मैन्युफैक्चरिंग वी आर डूइंग ईपीसी फॉर रूफ टॉप्स एंड आल्सो फॉर यूटिलिटी स्केल प्रोजेक्ट्स बींग ए इंटीग्रेटेड प्लेयर इट ऑल्सो हेल्प अस टू एक्सपोर्ट अवर सर्विसज एज वेल एज प्रोडक्ट्स वी हैव एक्सपोर्टेड अवर पैनल फॉर मोर दैन फॉर टू मोर दैन थर्टी कंट्रीज and uh, our main business was cell and module productions and the emphasis was on quality in last few years we have also migrated towards the epc and we are number one epc company for the rooftop not proclaimed by us but as has been awarded by many other uh, people we are uh, we have also has the distinction of executing the largest dcr utility scale project in this country which is more than 100 megawatt we have the distinction of executing the largest rooftop project at a single location which is more than 12 megawatt and recently we completed the cochin airport project which is again a carport of more than 2.87 megawatt we have the distinction of executing the largest in this in this country but however the emphasis is also on the quality and i think it is the trust of the customer which is which is prompting us and motivating our team to do all these one thing is very important that at the current scale where are we in in india we cannot compete with china on a scale basis too plus there is a lot of subsidies and incentives given to the chinese player so i do i do feel that there should be level playing field uh, it can come through safeguard duty or other support from the government but i also feel that as an organization we we have performed very well on export part and uh, there i think there are countries in europe uk and america which has been our our client for a very long time and we our performance has been very consistent for them because they always view our quality and pay a premium of our quality vis a vis the chinese product so while i we always support that the government policy initiative should be there to support the manufacturing in this country manufacturing will also have the advantage of giving employment to our people manufacturing will also have the advantage of providing the quality products within this country but having said that i think more importantly is that we will be also in a position to earn foreign exchange for this country and then reduce the dependence on fossil fuels in the same manner I believe that no business house or individual take calls to make losses. So everyone who has bid for this project or are executing this project, their intention and their uh, business plans have always have a component of a profit. It is a matter of how much risk appetite and how much optimization is possible. With the recent reduction in modules uh, prices. it has helped the indian developers those who are importing it's not only the module prices with the imports of even wafers and cells being at a lower cost it has also helped us to produce indian modules at a cheaper rate however having said that at the end of the day they are assumptions and those who are taking assumptions for next 9 months or 12 months there is a possibility that some of those assumptions may not come true however in the past most of the assumptions have come true but i think more importantly we have to look at not only the single project we have to look at how sustainable we can grow solar in this country and i think that is a minor cause a project failing or a project being becoming a very successful should not be viewed critically what is important is in this time frame for next 5 years how we grow solar which is very important for this country and i think that should be the horizon and that is the question we should ask no contract or which is an agreement between two parties and these agreements are for 25 years there is a sanctity of an agreement based on which both the parties have worked together it is not the matter that currently if the project cost is less then when people have built projects 5 years before the current phase that they have made a booming profit 
the cost at that time was high the cost in the current structure is low the profits have remained the return on the investment for a business house remains as it was so i think it is not fair to reopen the already an agreed agreement between two parties i think that's not a good for the country itself because it is it doesn't reflect well for a country where the contracts are not honored so that's not a good trend it has not happened as such people are only talking about it and i would like to refrain myself from commenting something which has just been talked about i haven't seen any actually renegotiation and reduction in that price but how we believe that this is not a good thing to happen and i also don't believe that this is going to affect the future projects i believe that the better sense will prevail and we will all honor our commitments in any agreement and accordingly the future agreements will also be very secure and that will also bring the foreign investments because if you are not honoring the contract then not only within the country outside the country there will be a sense of disbelief and the investment which we are expecting will be hampered i have i have two views on this the first view is that i think we should not be number dependent we should not be chasing targets important fact is rooftop is it important for this country is it beneficial for this country and if it is if the answer of both the question is true then what we should be doing to promote it whether we reach whatever number we reach is is a matter for statisticians not for us and i personally believe that rooftop is the right solution for this country because we still have uh, lots of people who have no access to any power and then there is a erratic power too in the commercial and industrial segment still uh, solar is now picking up uh, because the tariffs are higher uh, the grid tariffs are higher in the commercial and industrial segment and solar is currently providing a much better tariff or a rate of, on your returns the issue is in the residential sector and since unlike europe we have a, a different residential tariffs in this country it has not been propagated i also feel that while we are talking of rooftops and its enhancement we should not close our eyes from the issues of quality especially on a rooftop which are in isolated areas by individuals or a small organizations who have little knowledge about the quality of the product which is going in and they are in no position to test it and then they are buying something which is going to last them for 25 years so i think two important factors are the quality and there the government should support my suggestion has always been that the rooftop should be reserved for made in india products it will encourage made in india product it will encourage quality enforcement and in the same process any issues later on in its 25 year life cycle can be addressed another part which is also very important is the operation and maintenance of these plants which is which no one is thinking about at this stage but once we re we reach a certain scale then i think it is important to look at how these plants will be operated and maintained so government should support those initiatives too I think the first thing was the challenge of the time frame we were hardly given 6 months and it's an operational site where on a on some of the satsang days we have lakhs of people under those roofs the roofs were asbestos as well as steel corrugated roofs so the first and the foremost was the safety safety of our employees safety of the people who are sitting under it i think that was the first thing second was if you ask me the safety as well as the execution was a part of the design philosophy itself third issue which has come up is that in north part of india you have some time period when there is fog and the day time is very less and at night it is very difficult to work out these corrugated sheets so i think time was a issue safety was a issue but however being tata we have immense focus on the safety part from a design execution and even in onm i think that is what has helped up in that process there are immense possibility we have as we call it we have a turn around in last two years we have increased our revenues 
by more than 2.5 times. Uh, now we are a profitable organization. Uh, I think there are more and more focus which is there in India, but we also now is looking forward to providing our services uh, besides our products in international geographies. So there are certain geographies which we are seriously looking towards. And I think besides India, we will also address those geographies in times to come. And our expertise in India can help us to perform better in those geographies too. I think we have been a leader. We have been a leader for such a long time. Uh, we have been a leader as well as uh, the, the quality of the product is concerned. We have been the leader as well as our product dispatches are concerned. We are the first company in this country who has dispatched more than one gigawatt. We are the first company here who has a pipeline in one year of more than one gigawatt of EPC. We are the largest rooftop player. So I think we will, we will definitely progress on this leadership position, taking into consideration the trust which our customers have imposed on us. I think that is very important for us. Taking into consideration that customers not within this country but outside this country who has been repeatedly coming to us to give them the services as well as the products. I think we will maintain and we would like to maintain our leadership positions and we see a very bright future. I think the sun is very bright in this country and so is the future of Tata Power Solar.